Hi, so we're here with uh, Michael McConaughey, or is it McConaughey? Hi. McConaughey is that guy, Matthew, oh, yeah. who, is who that looks guy? better with his shirt off and his paychecks were a lot bigger than mine. Okay. <laughs> of course, he is a hick, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> so um, you're a uh, voice actor for many years. We know mm -hmm. you from uh, the Transformers, the original series, mm -hmm. uh, played a few characters there. Um, I actually, even though I don't, you did voices, I did bring you with me, but you were the, the first thing I'm going to ask you, because it's on the top of my mind, you were the voice director for the Star Trek Judgment Rights yeah. PC game. Yes. I got to ask, like, so you worked with all the original cast, that was probably yep. the last thing that, I know like D. Kelly, that was probably the last thing he did. Uh, very close, and uh, when uh, I did that, uh, my lady and I were, were co-directing on that, that and uh, the, the Star Trek 25th anniversary yeah, game. Uh, Judgment Rights was one of the most incredibly complex games ever. Uh, that company's no longer in business because they weren't as organized as they could have been. But we had 18,000 lines in that game. <laughs> and uh, poor D. Kelly, they, uh, for Dr. McCoy, I mean, it, everyone is a fan. Yeah. So the script was written by fans and they gave him the most jaw-breaking, tongue-twisting, <laughs> chemical names to say. And that poor sweet man tried his best to get oh. around him because uh, he was a perfectionist, but yeah. he was an absolute old-school southern gentleman and I just loved him. One of, the, one of my prized possessions is a picture of, of him between me and my lady and his arm around our shoulders. Because uh, I'm a fan, too. Yeah. I'm a fan. I never beautiful. got to meet him. That's a great regret. Yeah. But um, now, what about somebody like Nimoy and Shatner? Were they, uh, they okay? or Shatner was Shatner. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he came in, did his job. So th there, there were no, there were no uh, like bloopers were sabotage. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> the commercial sabotage. Sabotage. Mm. The sabotage. No, 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 no. That. <laughs> Actually, uh, I came in to direct because that was following the infamous. Don't tell me how to do it. It sickens me. Nice. That was the sabotage. No, I mean, no, was, that was a different a separate one. Separate. Oh, okay. it was a separate one. <laughs> was another one. Uh, and uh, so they brought me in to direct after that little. Uh, gaff. Okay. And uh, we got on well. It was fun. Right. I mean, it helps because I had an acting and industry background. There was a little more respect. Uh, but he came in, did his job, and, mm. and that was fine. And Nimoy was, uh, he was in a very contemplative place. That was just <laughs> when he, he had just published his book, I Am. Yeah, Spock. no, he was Spock again. Wasn't and uh, he'd come to grips with that, and it was just, uh, he was in a mellow place and trying to talk, willing to talk about how he had come to acceptance, mm. and it was it was it was just beautiful. And everyone else, I mean, it may have been the last time, one of the last times, the entire cast was all together. Uh, now there may have been one or two films after that, but we lost. No, uh, we, not together. No, no, we we lost. D, and, we, and then shortly, uh, Doohan. Of course, he had had to have a kid first. James Doohan. Chris, oh, yeah. Chris Doohan? No. Oh, no. another kid. Uh, yes. Oh, okay. he, he married a, a, a fine, strapping young lady and had some offspring. Good okay. for him. <laughs> um, yeah, I think they did one, like D. Kelly, supposedly. There was a canceled game that they did after that, a Star Trek game that he may have done some voice for it but I think I think at that point he was he was so ill that yeah. they had to they didn't they canceled the game anyway because the company was yeah. was in was doing what some companies yeah. do was it, was it interplay yeah it was yes yeah well, that explains a great deal yeah. <laughs> um, there it is they had the license yeah and uh, Nichelle Nichols who I just saw last week at Dragon Con in Atlanta okay. just a sweet sweet yes. lady just I met her very yeah. nice um, uh, you want to go? So, okay, so Transformers. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, we grew up with that. I mean, we grew up with Star Trek, all that stuff. But Transformers, uh, what was your experience like or any, any standout memory from working on that oh, show? Geez, it was, like I said, I'm a fan as well. And this was my chance 
to stand among the gods I grew okay. up with. And as it was, I mean, I watched all the Hanna Barbera cartoons with with Welker and Cullen and and John Stevenson and everyone else, and I got to come in as an equal, and it was indescribably fulfilling. Is is that intimidating or? Oh or God, yes. Okay. Oh yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, really, these these were people that. I never thought, well, first of all, when I was a kid watching cartoons, who thinks about the actors? Back then, no one ever did. And when I would see a human being with that voice coming out of it, it was like, goosebumps, ooh, wow, yeah, nice. Cool, right? And at that point, I was old enough to really know that there are people behind the voices. And it was uh, just an incredible experience for me. Very grateful. Let me ask you, so it's... it's probably a silly question, mm -hmm. but as a voice actor, I mean, I, I don't know, I'm not a voice actor, so as a voice actor, you go into an audition or a production and, and you know, you're, there's all these different characters and you're, do you ever feel silly, like, what am I, like, I'm, I'm voicing a robot, what am I doing here? This is, oh, no. Or, or is it, you, oh, no. you totally buy Let's understand. into it? I am, you, hey, pal, I'm a serious dramatic actor. Eh. <laughs> Uh, but no. you know what I'm saying? Is it, it like? I'm sure you you voice again. I, I, what 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 I'm what I'm asking sounds silly, but you know, oh, I was in a feature film. Now I'm, now I'm voicing a a toy or something. Like, is, is there ever that moment in a voice actor's career, or is it every every role is you're you're, you're committed and this is this is a well? I think if, if you're going to do it right, I think it should be that way. You should be committed. Every everything is important. Everything is, everything should be real. Mm -hmm. uh, there are... Because, you know, so, some of the lines, as, as, look, we love yeah. Transformers, we mm -hmm. grew up with this show, but some of the lines, like, oh, do I, really, I'm going to say this line? Or, no, no, or, if, or you're, you're committed no, to that character. I'm not saying it. The character is saying it. Mm -hmm. And if... <laughs> That's uh, why I'm not a voice actor. No, it's, uh, you know, I don't do voices. I play characters, and the characters have voices. Right. Major yeah. distinction. The... Um, that's why I've never really had a problem. I know, well, I'm sorry, there are some films I've worked on that I'm not going to talk about. <clears throat> okay. But we won't. We'll just cut that out later, right? Okay, yeah, good. Sure. Uh, but I, I'm serious about being, uh, it's a, a dramatic necessity to come to grips with the character because each character has its own voice. They will tell you what they are. They will tell you who they are. And everything they say has got to be true because it's the truth of the character, and that's something uh, about Transformers especially that meant so much to me is that I, I've said this at uh, other cons, uh, we're having discussions, but to me, with the Transformers, and uh, to a different extent with G.I. Joe, but there was a spiritual core to Transformers of valuing human life, of feeling what justice really is and working to make justice happen that you just don't see in cartoons today. I mean, no. It's a lot of screaming very and yelling. Yeah, it seems. Very it's just a lot of shouting. And uh, fart jokes. Yeah. I'm sorry. They're not funny. Yeah. A yeah. family guy. Yeah, yeah but it's... Um, well, that's hardly even a... I wouldn't even consider that a cartoon. <laughs> so it's it's more just a show. Yeah. yeah. But the... Uh, well, the, now everything is CGI. It's not really cartoons. Yeah. But uh, the, the core of the, uh, the things we were doing was from a very human standpoint, out of these robots. And that is why the franchise is still alive today. Mm. Have you seen the Michael Bay movies? I will not. Good. <laughs> we have you seen it, that. only to lampoon it. <laughs> So the reason we've seen well, well, them. Okay, but you know what it is. We see, right. We saw the Michael Bay movie just out of nostalgia and just to see how, mm -hmm. how bad they're going to be. But exactly what you just said. The old cartoon, as as maybe hokey or silly as it could be, sometimes it had that core. It's, it had that 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 human touch to it, and, that, and the movies did. Well, since I will never work in the Transformer films, I know this for a fact. I mean, if they, ask me, you want. if they ask me to, I would, but they won't, <laughs> they so won't. I won't. They won't. Um, and the first one, when Bumblebee 
one of the sweetest characters in the whole series, a little Volkswagen, becomes a freaking muscle car. This tells me someone doesn't have a firm grip on the concept. Well, not only a muscle car, a muscle car with no voice. Yeah, you can talk. What the F? <laughs> and uh, Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, yes. Right. <laughs> uh, and then, well, of course, there was, it, just to continue, my rant. Rant, yes, please, rant. The, uh, there was Mr. Bay's injunction. No, no, I don't want cartoon guys in my movie. Right. I want real actors. Actors. Acting. But they never spoke. That was what the joke was. The, 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 the Transformers the hardly ever spoke. Mm -hmm. In the movies. Yeah. And, and the other thing that really soured me was by, I think, the third one, they had turned the Optimus Prime character in, basically into like a mass murderer. I mean, oh. he just killed everybody. Oh, you mean Murder Prime? Yes. yes. Right. <laughs> the, prime. The, the prime suspect, yes. Peter A. Peter Cullen. There you go. That, that's a firm grip on the character. Mm -hmm. yeah. Poor Pete. Uh, well, but Peter's, Pete, Peter's a stone pro. He did it. Yeah, he I did it. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, about a month and a half ago, I was at uh, Transformers Con, TF Con in uh, Toronto, and Peter was there. I didn't even get a chance to see him. There, there was a phalanx of security people taking him here, taking wow. him there. Well, so he's the big, there, there he's are, the big star. There are movies yet to happen. And if anything were to occur to Optimus Prime, oh. this would impact the box office. <laughs> yeah, but wait, I'm hearing you're speaking. Right? They've other you people. Yeah, they've other people. No, no, no. No? No, it's not the voice. It's the character. But, uh, uh, that's true. All right, you're right. But, I, right. but here we are arguing and, yeah. and agreeing that <laughs> the new, this new Optimus Prime is not really the Optimus Prime character. It's some but, other character that none of us like. Well, uh, it's it's, it's Optimus Prime from Bizarro World. Okay? <laughs> True. Uh, it's, right. It is a shame. What are you going to do? Do you have any other? No. Okay, no, last question. Know. Okay. So do you have a particular uh, role that, that stands out in your memory or favorite role that, that you've done? Okay. No. Or they're all your. Friends. No, they're, they're all. It's it's the old standard thing. You know, how do you choose yeah. between your children? Yeah. I mean, it's. I know it's a standard quote, but it's a fact. Each they're all different. There's none that. There are some I would like to go back and redo, because we don't always get to control what is done with our performances or what takes they mm. are going to use. And sometimes seeing what hits the air afterward is like, oh God, guys, really. I know I did better than that. I guess you just have to let it go and yeah. be zen about it. Yes. Or, yeah. Yes. Because I will tell you, and I will tell you this to the entire world, when I get something right, and I know it's right, my nipples clench. Nice. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Was that too much information? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Thank you. You bet. Thank you very much. We're very appreciative. This was fantastic. My great pleasure. Thank, Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, should I go back to the table for you to sign those, or uh, it's up to you?